Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a let's play and full walkthrough playthrough for Fallen Stars VR, a game released on the Steam Store November 25th, 2022. It is a free to play title, and I'll put a link where you can download this game for free on Steam. It officially supports the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. Uh, Fallen uh, Stars. It's been a long day. Need to review some clips before bed. Fallen, Star Fallen Stars was made by a group of students uh, in a night in a ninety day period, three months period. And uh, given those constraints, I think the students did a pretty good job. Uh, this is a nice game, um, but obviously, if you're expecting something like for several months, cosmonauts had undergone numerous vigorous training, including those that were conducted underwater. And truth be told. They were harsh, but they will be rewarded something far greater if they can endure the training. Thomas William remembered when he was having a stroll inside the station before his regular training and saw the space launcher being built, the one that he will be riding in. An unexplained feeling of gratitude silently welled up inside him as he hurried to his training spot. He was not the only one in the space program, and he had other crewmates too, Rogan Richard and Bobby Miller. They quickly became his best friends, where they could joke around and laugh like idiots for hours on end, and his finest comrades, where they could endure hardship or rely on each other to cover each other's backs. At long last, the day had arrived, the commencement of his grand mission. The people at the station were meticulously making the final checkup to ensure the launch will be a success. Three, two, one. Launch. The sudden jolt from the spaceship activating and rocketing towards the space had pulled him back from his reminiscence of his journey from when he first stepped into the station. Staring at the serene blue planet projecting on the monitor had him realize that he was already in space, and another glance at the other monitor showed him the space station he was destined towards. And now from here, his journey had truly begun. So like I was saying, if you're expecting Welcome Lone Echo... We're pleased to have you aboard. If there are any problems, please inform us. We are always there to help you. Have a nice sleep, Tom. You've been resting there since docking. Stop playing around. There are several tasks we need to complete during our time here. Calling from 406 Theta Gamma. Dear Cosmonaut, you'll be notified about what to do when you enter the correct module. Operations are gated around each other, so make sure to check the area you already explore. Instructions of each operation will only be said once, so please listen carefully. Good luck, cosmonaut. <laughs> listen, listen carefully. Oh no, <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> uh, if you're expecting something like Lone Echo, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Uh, if you're expecting something like uh, Mission IS ISS Space Station Mission, whatever it's called, the free-to-play title that was on both the Oculus and Steam stores. I'm not sure if it's still there, but ISS Space Station. Um, you're going to be sorely disappointed. It doesn't have as good as graphics as ISS or Lone Echo. And it doesn't have the, the gameplay of Lone Echo either. But, you know, for a free-to-play title made by a group of students in three months, I think they did a wonderful job, you know, especially for a small... Solar panel. Tom, can Ma you help to adjust the yellow frequency to match with the red frequency so that the communication system can be restored? Small group of students. By the way, like I said, this is a let's play, full playthrough, full walkthrough, so spoiler alert, okay? Uh, the puzzles are very simple, in my opinion. Maybe too simple. There we go. Wait. Am I even doing this right? Okay, sometimes it's not. Nice. There we go. The communication system has been restored. 
Seems like one of the energy capsules has appeared near you. Might be handy later on. It might be. So, uh, you have, obviously, the same kind of locomotion, either ISS or Lone Echo. You basically propel yourself off grabbable objects. You know, you're in zero gravity. Uh, you also have little thrusters in case you get, like, let's say I got stuck here and I couldn't move. You also have on the joystick a little thruster that you can still move. You also have snap turning available. And, uh... I'm going to leave this here. And obviously, I don't know if you heard, but it says to to play, pay close attention because you're only given instructions once. Uh, and I think we already went the wrong way. You know what? I think we did. <laughs> I think we're supposed to go the other way. I am playing seated. Uh, I probably recommend you play standing if you can, although if you play standing you might have more difficulties with the zero gravity. It's, it's easy to get disoriented. Okay. Yes. Here we go. This is where we need hey, to go. I'm just boring here. I prepared a puzzle for you all in your own room. Please solve the puzzle. It's an order, I swear. <laughs> and as you can tell, this is a super easy puzzle here. It's like too easy. So if I do have one complaint, it's that the puzzles wow, are too look simple. That picture. You're good at solving puzzles. Not really. Those these puzzles are too simple. Um. So that that would be my biggest criticism of this free-to-play title. The puzzles are just too too easy. And there was a little bit of jitteriness there. Uh. For the most, I think this is running at a steady 90 frames per second, so I don't know if the jitteriness was due to uh, optimization. It's probably due to some other issue. And there you go. And again, just drop it off here. And uh, by the way, here's the color red blue and purple so red blue and purple keep that in mind red blue and purple so we can actually already start so we know the blue is in the middle and that looks like purple I don't think that's a red although it looks like pink here so we need to solve one more puzzle and so the biggest difficulty in this game is just, you know, finding the locations, really. But since I've already played this game and I know where everything is, I'm probably making it seem a lot easier than it is. Theta Gamma. Thomas William, please adjust the placement of wire connection from four of the corners to restore the electricity. Again, super simple puzzle. No thought necessary. I mean, these are like puzzles for like little kids. <laughs> They're just too simple. They're almost insulting my intelligence here. Well, that solved the puzzle, didn't it? No, oh no, it didn't. Well, maybe it's not insulting my intelligence. <laughs> I thought it was this. This was a solution, but it's Good not job. there. There we go. Tom, now collect all the energy capsules and bring them to the main hallway. <laughs> You'll see here I am talking about how easy the puzzles capsules. were, and I missed. We I goofed. To the power of the space really craft. bad. But it wasn't difficult. It was. I was just. My excuse is that it's super late at night here. Like it's past two in the morning. So that's my excuse. I'm up late. I shouldn't be up this late. <laughs> that's my excuse of my IQ drops every hour after midnight, <laughs> substantially. It seems like if you bump into surfaces, that's what causes the jitteriness. So I don't. It's not an optimization issue. Good job. We, we solved it. Spacecraft is ready to take off. That's Calling from SEAM 11. We'll see you back on Earth. That's basically the end of the game. So uh, there wasn't much to the gameplay. This, the puzzles were super easy. Um, there is a lot of narrative. SEAM 11. Preparation for undocking. Captain Rog speaking. All set and ready on dock. Um, I do recommend this. You know, it is free to play. 
It was made by a group of students. If I have to rate this, I would give this a 6 out of 10. You know, I think the students did a good job. Preparing to re-enter Earth. Uh, I'm not sure this belongs in my top 100 free-to-play titles on Steam VR. Um, if you think so, though, let me know. Uh, but you'll have to look at my top 100 list of the best Steam VR free 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 to play Steam VR games, and you have to suggest one for me to remove from that top 100 list. I don't know, maybe number 100 or may number 99. But look at the list, and if you think this game belongs in that list, uh, let me know which game. It needs to replace on that list because right now I couldn't think of a single game this the this one would replace on that top 100 list of free Steam VR home. games. The space uh, all of the crewmates. So the yeah, I finished this game really fast, but keep in mind I already played this game, so I already knew exactly where to go. I already knew the puzzles. The Again, the puzzles were super easy. Um, I do like the locomotion. I thought that was well done. Zero gravity. You know, it's not it's not a unique movement system, but it they did a good job with it. I, I thought the international space station here looked okay. It wasn't the best looking international space station I've seen, but it was good enough. And yeah, so like I said, I give it a six out of ten. I do recommend it. It's free to play title, so if you've never played something like this, if you never haven't played International Space Station, which is free, or at least it was free on Steam and Oculus, I don't know if it's still free, or if you played Low Echo, then you know obviously this is a lesser experience than those. But if you haven't experienced Zero Gravity in VR, this, this is free, and you might want to check this out. Um, I think this is a nice experience. You know, it was free. Uh, it was okay, you know, I think the puzzles could have been better, but that's really my main complaint. Other than that, you know, for a free-to-play title ba made by students in three months, I think they did a good job. So anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. Oh, by the way, this is a tribute to the Soryuz, um, mission. So, uh, yeah, this, this game was made with that in mind. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play full walkthrough. And if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.